topic is about clock divided by two or divide by two circuitry so we have a clock master clock let us consider this master clock which has a time period of one nanosecond and we need to divide its frequency by two so we need to get this waveform which has a time period of two nanosecond and the frequency is reduced by two so as you can see over here we have frequency divided by two that means we need to cover two periods of this clock in our generated clock so as you can see our generated clock time period is two nanoseconds and our master clock time period is one nanosecond so we are covering two clock periods in single cycle of our generated clock how can we achieve this it's so simple so this is the circuitry which we are going to use to get our generated clock okay clock divided by two so we supply the master clock to a d flip flop where d flip flop input is given by a feedback of q bar and the output is taken from q so let us get a better understanding by using the waveforms as you can see this is a master clock with a time period of one nanosecond sorry with time period of one nanosecond and let us assume that the values of q q bar and d as 0 1 and 1 now let us draw the waveform as you can see the d value is 1 so which is given to the q so q will be 1 so q is 1 over here so when q is 1 the q bar will opposite of the q so q bar is 0 since the q bar value is fed into d so d will also be 0 now again this d is fed back to q so the d is 0 so q will become 0 at this passage so now the q has become 0 and q bar will be the opposite of q so now it will become back 1 once again since q bar is fed into d now d will also become 1 now again the d is fed back to q now so since d is 1 q will also become 1 so again q is 1 so q bar will be 0 since q bar is 0 d will also become 0 and again this d is fed back to q so q will be 0 once again and q bar will be 1 and d will be also 1 so the waveforms is look like this as you can see we are taking the output uh, clock divided by 2 output at q so what we get the q value is this one as you can see the q is starting from this posage to this posage this is one time period so as you can see two clock periods are covered that means frequency is divided by two and time period is doubled so this is a, a divide by two circuit so as you can see our master clock time period is one nanosecond our clock divided by two that is the generated clock is two nanoseconds we got from the waveforms you can clearly see how we got it okay one nanoseconds and two nanoseconds so frequency is one by one into 10 power minus nine of nanoseconds so we are getting 10 power nine that is one gigahertz okay that is one gigahertz now similarly one by two into 10 power minus nine nanoseconds 10 power minus nine so it is 0 0.5 into 10 power nine it is 0.5 gigahertz as you can see the frequency is divided by two clearly from this waveforms we can say that time period is double and frequency is divided by two and this is the circuitry which is used for getting the frequency divided by two so i hope you have understood this concept of frequency divided by two if you have any doubts please comment down below uh, i will engage within 24 hours and please do subscribe because I need to prepare more videos and thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up or a comment down below uh, what the next topic you want
please do subscribe it will help me a lot creating more videos like this and more informative videos if you want the topic please list down below i will complete that subject within two days and explain you in a better way as i understood thanks for watching please do subscribe